Hey, 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 Pisces, this is your sacred scribe here, ready to do your reading. So this is going to be a reading for my Pisceans, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Jupiter, and North Node. This will not resonate with everybody, of course, but hopefully it will with you. Please don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Write down below there, Pisces, if you would, before you leave. I do appreciate it. And thank you so much for all of your like, shares, and subscriptions. If you guys are interested in a personal reading, that way this is more specific to you and your questions and your needs. Information can be found in the description box below. Make sure you're clicking on the link in the description box as there are many tarot card impersonators running about the community. And know that you will always see my face in a reading as well as receive an unlisted link that you can utilize forever here on YouTube. Don't forget to comment. I want to hear from you guys and hit that notification bell. All right. Overall energy Pisces is the two of wands. So we have El Sage, Purity. We have the Sacred Heart, the Magician, and the Lovers. Yeah. So you may have to choose. You will have to choose. Could be between lovers. It could be just choose love. Choose to love. You manifested this. I feel like you've been doing the work. You've been, I want to say, purifying here with the Purity. You've been cleansing. You've been doing a lot of cleansing of the soul. Some of you could be moving. And when you move, this is when that decision takes place. Or you're choosing between two and then you're moving. Let's see. Tell me about the two of wands for Pisces. What is this? So we have death, the ace of pentacles, and the fool card. Yeah, you're taking a leap of faith. You're seeing, you're seizing this day and taking a leap of faith you're ending something beginning something else you're transforming this is going to transform you big time this is supposed to happen expectation thoughts hmm You may be worried about a wealthy man. You may be worried about somebody's expectation of you, Pisces. It's not going to do any good. It, it, if they do have an expectation, you need, to, you need to ask them. Is there an expectation you have of me? What do you expect from this dynamic, right? Could be this wealthy man or this wealthy man could be you. But it looks like you're moving. I feel a physical move for whoever this is resonating with. Somebody could be making you a hella offer here. Now, it could be moving for work, but I feel love. could be both. You have the Nine of Cups here, and you have the Justice card. So, mm, Libra energy. Also, Twin Flame energy. And the Eight of Swords here, Pisces. So you're setting yourself free, Pisces, from this Eight of Swords energy, this imprisoned nature that you have had going on. You're going from one extreme to the other. And I feel this has to do with an alignment of the self and a desire, alignment and desire of this wish of what you want. Let's get a kipper. Yeah, see, the, ending something and beginning something new here, laying a foundation, this coffin, you're ending this, it's like torture, it's, you're ending this self-torture. Okay, you're choosing to end that cycle and you're choosing to lay a foundation, one that's going to serve you in the end. And it could also be ending whatever this choice is, if there was two people, ending one relationship. Tell me about the Sacred Heart. So we have the King of Wands. 
Ooh, the High Priestess. Hmm. I'm hearing long-held wish with this High Priestess. You've wished for this for a while. Ten of Cups. I'm not sure what that long... It may be a person. Long-held wish. It could be an Aries Leo Sag here, Pisces. You knew this was going to happen. You just weren't sure when. And then you tried to talk yourself out of it with this Eight of Swords energy. And it wasn't until you set yourself free where this happens. You've got, you know, the Ten of Cups here, which everybody wants. It's the decisions that you make, the choices that you're making that actually manifest this. Which is why we have the magician next. So let's talk about this magician. It's expanding your heart space, which is increasing your intuition. All right. Yeah, the wheel of fortune, the three of pentacles, and temperance, Sagittarius energy. You knew it was present all along. What you realize is the alignment that's needed, the shifting of your alignment that's needed to manifest, to have this come into your reality here. This is exactly what you want to build upon. They're saying co-create. So you're co-creating with the universe here. You have angels right by your side with the temperance card helping you out and you know that and you're finally utilizing all the tools that you have within you available to you and your great fortune see your belief in that and your steadfastness is what's going to aid you so tell me about the lovers i want to know about this lovers so the queen of cups this could be a water sign or this could have been a choice between fire and water. Oh, tower, strength, and the queen of cups. What's this tower? I want another one on the tower. Yep. Oh boy. All right. Uh, so what I'm getting here, water sign, water sign. There's a water sign that's going to come out of the blue. This is who you're choosing. And this is going to shock you. So what I'm getting is that there isn't, there wasn't like two that you were juggling. There was one. And then this person comes out of the blue and you're like, nope, that's it. So you drop the other one. This gets you out of your head. This is actually what frees you. So they, their energy coming in frees you because of this knowing. This strength is not a problem with you whatsoever. Let me get, all right, let me get a kipper on this. So this choice is not going to be difficult. You're out of your head. This person is going to propose pretty quick. That's what I'm getting with the gift. Um, this is that wealthy man. What did, what did I just say? Yep, this is that wealthy man. Coming out of nowhere. Get ready for the surprise of your life. Because that's what this feels like, Pisces. You think you're going one direction. And whoop, nope. You're taking a hard left. Yep. <laughs> Advice for you. Hmm. All right. Your advice with the no, the five of pentacles, and the star seed. Use your intuition when, as it pertains to moving forward with this other person. Do not move forward, they're saying. Some of you may want to rush forward, but no, they're saying, wait, wait, wait. Your intuition will tell you. You're not, you may be feeling like abandoned by the universe because this, this other love that you have existing just doesn't feel like it. So it's not that this person currently that you will have 
will abandon you or give you a lack of love. It's just you're missing a piece and you don't know what it is. You will know what it is. So they're saying, do not rush with the no. Do not rush because you will regret it if you do, because this person is literally coming out of nowhere. Keep your vibration high. That's what is needed in order for this person to come in. So be cognizant of this vibration, okay? All right. Let's get an angel number for you. What number will serve Pisces? 31. I am disciplined, okay? Your approach to life is an effective mix of both practicality and imagination. Your mind is stirring with creative ideas and you have the organizational skills to manifest them to life. So yes, discipline yourself here. All right, know that this is coming. If you feel that when you meet somebody and you're with them for a while and you feel that that's not it, know that the other is coming. That's it. Okay. All right, Pisces. I hope this resonates. Please drop a like below, share and subscribe if you already haven't, if you're interested in a personal reading. That way this is more specific to you and your questions and your needs. Info's down in the description box below. Make sure you're clicking on the link in the description box if you are interested, Pisces, as there are many tarot card scammers about the community. And know that you will always see my face in a reading as well as receive an unlisted link that you can utilize forever here on YouTube. Don't forget to comment. I want to hear from you guys and hit that notification bell. That way you get notified whenever I upload a video or go live. Have a great day and I will catch you on the flip side on the dailies. Namaste.